Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is the Bosch WFF2000 washing machine. I'm going to put on a test wash of some more dirty workwear. Mostly because I find that that's a good thing to clean it out. I'm not too fussed if it doesn't come out clean, especially when I'm using a machine that I've gotten second hand. I'll tend to give it a few loads of workwear first. This is my third test wash with this machine. This is my third test wash with this machine. The first one it had a pre-wash error where it wasn't pumping out properly. That's what it was saying, three lights flashing. The second was my own fault, it had a single light flashing error, or the light the pre-wash light was flashing a single time. That was my fault, and that was because <clears throat> that was because I hadn't got the cold water turned on. But then again it had a third three light flashing error. So I'm gonna I'm hopefully gonna go through on a 40 degree coloured cycle and uh, it should just do the job properly hope this is a WFF 2000 so taking a look at my test setup I've got hot and cold coming into a pipe and then going out again hot and cold so I know it'll start with hot so I'll turn on hot I've got the drain hose coming in over here and I've got the electricity just coming to a plug Down on the machine, let's turn it on. We get electricity, turn off these, I don't want any of them on. In fact, I might go for a short wash at 40. I'm gonna go click through the delay start. The start. the water coming in it'll be hot because that's all it's given but it can take it through the hotter to cold but it's going to be getting hotter water So it seems to be starting off fine. I'll come back to it as it goes. Door lock lights come on. And it's just taking in water. Oh, I haven't put in any detergent. Oh, I might have missed the boat there. Hmm. I forgot to put in the detergent, so I've put in a little bit just there now. Now this is gonna be fun. I have to get that detergent down into the machine. So let's turn off the water. I'm turning off the water up here. Turn off the cold, unscrew. So to get some detergent through, I'm just going to pour some water in to rinse that detergent down. It might interfere with it somewhat, but I think it'll be okay. Detergent's all gone in. A bit of quick thinking there. So people have suggested that the pump could be dicky. Pump might not be working correctly, although I know it's pumping out, so it's probably not that, although it, it could be that. The also, the other question, the other suggestion that's been posed or offered is that the pressure valve is knackered or not working somehow. I think I have spares for this, so if it keeps happening, I can try both of those things. I'll come back to this whenever it's whenever it's either finished or stuck.
So it sounds like a pump fault actually. It's humming. It's gotten as far as rinsing, it's in a rinse. And the noise appears to be coming from the pump. So maybe it is a pump fault. So we'll have another look at the pump and I think I have a spare one. So we can swap that out and see if that does it. I'll let it fail first, it'll get, take a few minutes. And we'll see if it's got an error code of three flashes I think, we'll see. So as predicted we've got three flashing lights, or the pre-wash light is flashing in sequences of three flashes and then a blank. And the machine's got water in it. So I'm going to check this pump. I think I've got a spare. Let's see if I can take it out. I'm going to have to drain the machine down first. So let's see how it goes. While it's draining off, there's a couple of Phillips screws over here. These hold the pump on. And then what I'll do is, I think if I lie it back, or on its side, back or on its side, I'll be able to get access to it. So we've come good there, it's drained out about four or five bowls of water, push that rubber back in. Now let's put a cloth down and open the plug. There's nothing in there. Because the laundry that's in it is sopping wet, it's going to keep draining through, I think, little by little. So maybe we should take that laundry out and throw it into the sink. All wet. So I've got a spare pump, which I think is the same. I imagine it's the same. So let's put the machine over on its side a bit. There it is up on its side, it's suitably precarious. And what I'm interested in is in here, this pump, one more screw. I thought it was only two, but there's three. I take that off. We have the machine isolated from the supply, so we shouldn't be able to get electrocuted. What isolated from the supply means is that you've plugged it out at the wall or turned it off at the wall, but usually plugging it out at the wall is safer. So it's a different color, but it looks similar. Similar, let's see. So in here, I can get this hose off. This is the sump hose from the machine. Clip down, I don't know if we can see that. Can, kinda. Likewise, this is the drain out hose, so give it a twist and off it should come. Likewise the drain off hose, give it a twist and off it should come. And then this cable's clipped in somewhere. Hopefully, it will all just come apart. It looks like we have to get this plastic cover off. Oh, it's a separate plastic cover on the cable. Okay, so comparing the two, they're both pretty much the same, just different colors. 
This one is out of a Bosch. Let's see, it has a model number. I'm not even going to bother, am I? I can't see it. Oh, this is a Siemens pump. Ooh, I've not seen one of those before. Maybe that's high end. Maybe it's not if it's broken. This is an Ascol pump, so it's just your standard model. Right, first things first, the clip went in. Just put that little rain cover on it. Put the clip in, like so. It just fits, and then this thing clips on over the top. Somehow, just like that, I think. And then this hose goes on. And it's difficult to see here, but this plastic thing here has a little plastic ridge on the pipe. That aligns with a groove in the hose. I don't see any alignment marks on this one, the sump hose. And if you're struggling to get these pipes on, it can be a good idea sometimes just to spit on them or put a bit of put a bit of silicone lubricant on them or washing up liquid or something like that. Don't use oil because oil doesn't help plastics but anything that isn't oil will do okay. That's that one on. Right. And I've got some screws stuck in this one. I could have tried to test that pump somehow and seen if it, something happening with it but well I haven't and I'm not going to. Take a look in there, it's clean enough. That seems to spin around okay. The spare part that I have, I wouldn't have saved if I thought there was something wrong with it. Why does it not fit? It doesn't fit because it has this thing on the bottom. Which is getting in the way. In the way. That's annoying. So it's not exactly the same. So we have to figure out if we can make it fit. So what I did there, I just chopped this little bit of plastic off the bottom, so it should be able to fit now. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Still not quite the right size, you know. It's, it is a different, a different size thing. So it might only be possible to get two screws to hold it on. Maybe that's why there was only two in it in the first place. It doesn't really matter as far as I'm concerned. It's a used machine for my own use. But it is most certainly out of a Bosch, I think a 1401. Now, the other, there's other holes there, but I'm not gonna be able to get screws into them such as the way that this thing is lined up. So, We'll have to be happy with that as it is. In case you're worried, I'm wearing safety sandals. Back on. Let's get the laundry back in. Soaking wet, of course.
so I think what I'm going to do is go back to the start, plug it in, plugged in, switched on, lights on, short wash on, on, on. So let's turn it to, I really really want to rinse and spin, but I'll do it another 40 again to see what happens. Waste more of my life. So let's put the hot water back on. Check these valves, they're both on. Okay. I'm not putting any detergent in it because the wash has already had a detergent added and that won't have rinsed out properly. But a lot of the dirt has come out in the first wash and in the second, um, in, in the first drain off off the main wash and then in that water from the rinse that I took out in the bowls. This is the third attempt at this getting to wash properly. So we know there's an intermittent pump maybe with the, with the, so we think there's maybe an intermittent fault with that pump and that's why I've swapped it out because it wasn't pumping. But of course, if it's not the pump, then the pump that I've just taken out could be fine. And we know it was working, so it could be a pressure switch fault, in which case we'll be back to where we were before and I'll have to put a pressure, pressure valve into it or check that the pipe going to the pressure valve isn't blocked, which is no biggie. I'm not gonna watch all of this, so I'll come back to it when we're at the end. So we're coming on to the rinsing cycle. It pumped out just fine with that new pump, so it's working. And it seemed, I would have said, to be a bit more um, keen. It pumped out, it seemed to pump out a bit harder whenever it was pumping out, if that makes any sense at all. So maybe there's something in that, that it's uh, a better pump or the old pump was a bit lazy. Maybe not. We'll see once we get to the pump out on the rinsing cycle, which is coming near pretty soon. So you've got water coming out of that hose and we're on the rinsing spin so it's looking better it's looking like it was the pump but I'm not getting my hopes up yet I'll come back in a few minutes so at this point it's nearly at the rinse hold position uh, getting near the spin position so it's definitely further along than it was before which is excellent so it looks like it might have been the pump what I thought I would do is talk for a moment about why I went for the pump first because a few recommendations came in and one was the pump obviously when it was the pump error with the pre-wash lights and the other recommendation was the just taking in a little bit more water there strangely the other recommendation was that I check the pressure valve now there's two reasons why one was that because the first reason that I did the pump first was because the pre-wash light was telling me to do the pump but also it was because I had a pump handy whereas if I needed to get a pressure valve I'd have to take it out of a donor machine which you know would take me a little bit longer and so that was that was the uh, the logic behind it I've also changed pumps before and I haven't changed the pressure valve so we'll see if it gets to the end and if I was right so it looks like we're on to the final spin now which is excellent it might be that Putting that black pump, the Ascol one, instead of the Siemens one, worked. I'm not sure what was wrong with the Siemens one. I took it apart, it looks fine. You know, the fact that it works sometimes means that you've got an intermittent fault, which I really can't fathom. This doesn't mean that this machine's working, so I'll probably give it another test wash before I put it away. So the wash is winding down now near to the end. The pump on this one makes quite a lot of noise. And there it stops. It'll do a little agitate probably to distribute the laundry. And then it should click through to the end. I think it does it about five times or something like that. Then it should click through to the end. And then the door will stay locked for two minutes. And then the door light will go off. That's what should happen. Hi. Hiya. This must have seen. 
this supposed to see? That's the washing machine. This is the That's the show soaker. After about two minutes this door light should stop flashing but so far this is a success so test wash three on the Bosch WFF 2000 I'm quite happy with that thanks for watching see you later if you've enjoyed this video please tell me why in the comments below if you haven't enjoyed it you've probably turned off by now but if you've gotten this far and you haven't enjoyed it please explain to me why you've watched this video in the comments below despite not having enjoyed it I'd really be interested to know. Cool. Thanks for watching. See you later.